Hi guys, I'm Emily. I'm one of our tour guides here on campus at the Welcome Center, and today I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite life hacks and advice for living on campus here at Pace University. I'm coming off of a year of living at 182 Broadway, and I'll be living at 33 Beekman next year, which I'm very excited about, so I'm feeling pretty equipped to give everybody some advice today. Some background on me though before I get started. I'm currently a sophomore here at Pace majoring in English with a concentration in creative writing. Some of the organizations I'm involved with on campus include Her Campus, Sutter Stage, and Pop TV, and I'm also a member of Kappa Delta Sorority. I'm from Texas, which is where I'm currently filming from. And without further ado, let's get started into some life hacks. I would say my first piece of advice is for when you're moving into the dorms, and it's don't be afraid to have things shipped to you, especially if you're coming from far away. As I said, I'm from Texas, so I was coming a pretty far way away, and because I did have to travel by myself because of the pandemic and having to quarantine for a little bit, I could only bring the suitcases that I could have with me. So things like comforter, a lot of my towels and stuff were not going to fit into my suitcase. Um, so I ended up having a lot of that stuff shipped to me. My parents shipped it to me when I was about to be moving into the dorms, or I ordered ahead of a lot of things, you know, just like three or four days before I was moving into the dorms, I went ahead and ordered it online and just had it sent straight to the dorms and it made it so much easier for me. Everything came in right on time and I just kind of came with like my basic necessities of like my clothes and my sheets and things like that that I couldn't do like one or two nights without and it ended up working out perfectly for me so definitely don't be afraid to ship things and that also applies for when you're going back home. I shipped like all of my sweatshirts and my shoes and stuff ahead of time so they got here before I did which just made it so much easier to not have to worry so much about like trying to get every single thing into my suitcases because I did slowly acquire a lot of things. I did a lot of Urban Outfitters runs and by the time I was ready to go back home it was not all fitting in my suitcases so definitely utilize the postage system as needed. And speaking of packing, be a little bit more frugal than you think you need to when you're packing. I know I always tend to overpack and I brought so many extra outfits, shoes, things like that that I didn't actually need. So definitely really keep in mind like, okay, what clothes do I actually wear? So you don't end up bringing way more than you need. And then also keep in mind what the dorms already have. So we already have, you know, a desk, chair, closet, drawer, bed, mattress. So really when it comes to like furniture, you don't need to bring that much. I know I bought a lamp ahead of time and then I got there and I found that there was a light already in the desk so I didn't need to bring a lamp. And so things like that, that you know, maybe already are gonna be there, maybe hold off on, you know, just until you kind of figure out what you, or what you really need, what you're really missing. So maybe don't buy everything quite as ahead of time. Think about it a little bit more, figure it out. You can take a little bit more time to move in. You don't have to have every single thing the first day. And it's definitely something I wish I did was just hold off a little bit and don't pack quite as much. Another life hack is make friends with the people on your floor. And when you're living in Maria's Tower, you know, you're kind of meeting those people a lot more. You guys are hanging out together a lot more in the bathrooms and things like that. But I lived in 182 Broadway, so we didn't have that, you know, floor by floor communal space. We just had the fourth floor lounge. And I found that making friends with people who lived on my floor and we were waiting for the elevators or if we just have to be like leaving at the same time made life so much better. You know, not only do you have like these great friends who you can then like go out to dinner with, just hang out with, you know, you're getting to know more people, but it's also super helpful if like all of a sudden you need a broom and you don't have one so you can just like knock on the door and borrow one from somebody else and you know you will get like their social media a lot of times when you're having floor meetings with your RA who's your resident assistant and so you know utilize those talk to people definitely don't be afraid to make friends with people on your floor because not only is it great to know more people but also it can definitely come in handy when like you might be out of something and need some help from somebody else and building off of that talking about being on your floor and those floor meetings you will have a resident an assistant that's kind of like an older sibling who's going to be on your floor who's there for anything and definitely be friends with them don't be afraid to talk to them say hi when you see them around campus because they're kind of the coolest people ever i love my ra so much they're literally the best and were so there for me when i was really you know struggling with certain things you know moving in can be hard sometimes so having someone that's there for you to talk to is really great and they're also just like full of knowledge on every single thing so definitely don't be afraid to talk to them whether it be about you know housing and questions with housing or just about life in general. They're always a great person and resource to have. 
So as I was saying earlier, I did live in Wendy to Broadway this past year, which is our furthest point on campus. And I enjoyed giving that walk in every day. I thought it was really nice to like kind of force myself to stretch my legs, get a breath of fresh air. It was really nice for me. But you know, some days are busier than others. Some days you're really hustling it out. So I would say a big piece of advice I have, especially if you're living at somewhere like 182 Broadway or 55 John Street and you're a little bit farther away, is plan your day out and really think about how the best way to manage your time is. Because there's definitely some days where I was like, okay, you know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time for dinner tonight. So, you know, maybe I have a late class and a meeting right before. So when I go, you know, to get breakfast in the morning, I'm just gonna also grab like my lunch or my dinner while I'm there because then I don't have to worry about, you know, like the 10 or 15 minutes it might take to go grab my dinner, you know, even though it's not that far of a walk. Some days are just really hustling. So definitely plan ahead. If you need to get food ahead of time, do it. We have a microwave and a fridge in the dorm, so you can always heat things up or keep things cold depending on what it is. So just plan ahead, think of things like that if you're living a little bit farther away. Okay, and then my final piece of advice is just to really make your dorm your home. I know it can seem like, oh, maybe I'm just living here for a few months. I don't have to really go all in on it but you're gonna spend a lot of time in your dorm. You're gonna sleep there every night. You're gonna be doing homework in there a lot. You might be pulling some all-nighters in there. So really do make sure it has everything that you love, whether it be, you know, fun de decoration, maybe a few of your favorite stuffed animals from home, things like that. Your dorm is your sanctuary. It's your place. Really spend time to make it what you want and don't think of it as a temporary living space and go all into the housing lifestyle. Spend time in those communal rooms, hang out with those people and just really lean into your dorm lifestyle because because it can be a lot of fun. All right, guys, well, I hope that helped. I hope that you guys are all so excited to be living on campus soon. I know I'm excited to be back to living on campus. I miss it a lot right now. So I hope that you guys have learned a lot from this and I hope you're very excited to be at Pace soon.